So the question I was asked this week in church, and I get asked often in clinic as well, is does the computer damage my eye? If you've ever wondered the same, then this video is for you. Welcome to Eyes on the Road. I'm Dr. Keith Poindexter. In this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about digital device use and how it can and doesn't affect our eyes. One of the concerns with digital devices is the fact of blue light. Blue light is the lower end of the visible wavelength spectrum, which is closest to the ultraviolet spectrum of radiation. Because of this, blue light has a longer wavelength and it actually penetrates deeper into our eyes and in theory can cause harm internal to the eye. While certainly that particular possible complication has garnered a lot of attention, I don't think that's our biggest concern yet with respect to how computers and digital devices can affect us. The damage you receive from a day's worth of ultraviolet exposure at a day at the beach is likely more than you would accrue from even a year being exposed to a normal amount of computer use. The thing we don't know, however, is what is the cumulative damage of that. In other words, we've not had a generation until my children that will have grown up not knowing a world without computer and digital device use. So I think the jury is still out on that. So when you're contemplating purchasing glasses, you can get a blue light blocking technology put onto the lenses. This is a clear coating, usually an anti-glare coating, which I actually would recommend. First, if there is damage that can occur from that blue light, then this can actually prevent some of that damage. The second thing, obviously, with the anti-glare capability, it can reduce eye strain while we're on our digital devices. But I think the more important portion of blue light technology lenses is the fact it helps us with our sleep cycle, also known as our circadian rhythm. We know that that blue light can fool some of the cells in our retina that sends the signal to our brain that basically tells us, hey, it's daylight, you should be up, awake, and alert. When we're on our digital devices, especially after it's dark, our brain gets fooled and our melatonin production is impaired, and that can lead to sleep dysfunction. So certainly, blue blocking technology is warranted for those who have difficulty with either falling asleep and even or staying asleep. The other way that computer use can affect our eyes is dryness. We know that when we're on the computer, our blink rate actually declines to about half of its normal rate. Because of that, we get exposure of the ocular surface, evaporation of the tears, and that can lead to a evaporative dry eye syndrome. When we don't blink while we're on the computer, we also don't blink completely and forcefully as normal. Part of the blink reflex actually squeezes on little glands that are in our eyelids. These are called meibomian glands. If we don't squeeze those glands and milk the oil out of the gland, then the oil gland can become stagnant and we can develop meibomian gland disease and even atrophy of those glands. And if you want to know more about meibomian gland dysfunction, you can see the video above. So the short answer is yes, blue lens technology is worthwhile for some things, but it's not a cure-all for everything. If you're concerned about protecting your eye from damage, if you want less eye fatigue, less glare, and if you want an improvement in your sleep cycle, then certainly you should consider blue technology lenses. Personally, I wear 
glasses when I'm at the office while on the computer and they do have blue lens technology in them. I hope this has answered some of your questions and remember until next time when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change.